Here I'd like to show you some result plot tools that are included in SolidWorks Simulation. For the existing static simulation that I have, I want to take a look at my von Mises stress plot. Sometimes it's difficult to see on a complex model where the maximum or minimum stresses or displacements might occur, and a very useful tool for analyzing this is what we call ISO clipping. Right click on your plot icon and choose the ISO clipping command. Think of the ISO clipping command as a filter. Using this slider bar, you can filter out all of the values either above or below the selected location. So by sliding the uh, slider bar all the way to the right and then gradually backing off the slider, you can see where the maximum stresses develop. The value shown here in the property manager corresponds with that maximum value. This is very helpful in identifying where the maximums might be and at what values. Another useful readout on the plot legend is the element volume indicator, which shows the percentage of elements in the model that share this value of stress or above or below. So as I slide down toward the minimum, you can see that more of the element volume is accounted for. ISO clipping. Another useful command is the section clipping tool. Sometimes you may want to run a section plane through your model. If you right click on your stress plot and choose section clipping, you can now specify a clipping plane. By default, the front plane is selected. However, you can fly out your SOLIDWORKS feature manager and choose any other reference plane. You can key in a manual offset distance or angle, or you can dynamically drag the clipping plane on screen. Options within the section clipping command allow you to choose whether or not you're showing the section plane, whether you're showing just the section of the model or the geometry behind it, and how to display the uncut portion of the model, either in shaded contour or with uh, just model contours. Multiple sections can be placed in different locations just by enabling the option for section 2, section 3, etc. So there's the section plane command. Another very useful command is called the probe tool. The probe tool is useful for just probing or picking a spot where you want to know what the value of the active plot would be. In this case I have my von Mises stress plot displayed and maybe I want to probe some of the values around this hole. By right clicking on my result plot, on my, on my stress plot that is, I can choose the probe tool and now I can just manually pick entities corresponding to the nodes around this hole. Flags appear that show the node numbers, the XYZ locations of the deformed shape, as well as the stress values. And so I may just pick some points around the circumference of this hole, and I get a table of values, which I can save out to an Excel file, or I can plot them. So the probe tool is very useful just for picking individual locations and finding out their values. Finally, it may be useful to list the resultant reaction forces on your model. In this model, we fixed the bolt holes and we applied a 500 Newton force. Therefore, we would expect at the fixture locations, the sum of forces should add up to the 500 Newtons that were applied at the input. To find out the resultant forces, right click on the result folder, choose list result force, reaction forces, and then pick on the two surfaces where your restraints were applied. Hit the update button, and we now see the XYZ magnitudes of the re reaction forces. In the property manager, we see a readout of the resultant sum forces, and as we would expect, since the load is only applied in the Z direction, there's slight non-zero, negligible non-zero components in the X and the Y direction, the Z components add up to 498.92, which is very, very close to the 500 newtons of input load. So in this demonstration, we've looked at just a few result processing tools, ISO clipping, section clipping, probe, and result force, all of which can be found by right-clicking on individual plots or on the result folders themselves.